Deborah Konigsberger just marked a milestone. 35 years as the owner of Noir et Blanc, a contemporary New York-based fashion boutique. But the entrepreneur says it's becoming increasingly harder for small business owners like her to thrive. I still love what I do, so, um, so I do it, but there are days, there are days. Those days are in part due to an uptake in shoplifting reported in 24 U.S. cities post-pandemic through the first half of 2023, including Los Angeles, Dallas, Boston, and led by New York, according to data from the Council on Criminal Justice. It's just what happens now, people just walk in, uh, take what they want and leave. And it was really bad during the pandemic and just after the pandemic because they just were seemed to be getting a nod as to, you know, nobody was going to do anything about it. It's not just small independent stores like this impacted by robberies. As of May of this year, the New York Police Department says more than 21,000 retail thefts have been reported just in the city alone. That includes thefts at luxury stores and big chain pharmacies already dealing with downsizing thanks to changing consumer shopping habits. Partly due to inconsistent legal definitions across states, data on organized retail crime has been harder to measure. Still, the National Retail Federation recently held its third annual Fight Retail Crime Day, issuing a letter pushing for Congress to pass the Combating Organized Retail Crime Act, signed by more than 200 organizations who claim this type of crime is on the rise. If passed, the bill would utilize federal, state and local law enforcement as well as retail industry assets to help drive down retail crime. One policy expert believes federal resources can help, but says there is a more critical deterrent. At the end of the day, these are criminal offenders who are going to respond to incentives. And one of the things that we've seen over the last decade is that penalties for these offenses have been lowered. The likelihood of being caught for these offenses has gone down. If you can change that, I think you can change the calculus at the street level for the people who are actually engaging in this. And if you add teeth uh, to the prosecution and enforcement of these criminal offenses, I do think uh, that you can make a, a serious dent. Economist Giacomo Santangelo thinks doing that could create more problems than it solves. Then, if the crime is going to continue, then you have an escalation on the, the thieves side and then an escalation on law enforcement, an escalation, and then you have that kind of back and forth. Konigsberger says lawmakers need to do more, but as regardless, she's not willing to let criminals steal her joy running the decades old business she created. I'm not the kind of person who's going to let somebody else write the end of my story. Karina Mitchell, CGTN, New York.